Taurus, welcome into your reading. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to be looking at your current energy right now and what's happening with you, where your energy has come from, where your energy is going. So what's the energy as you're moving through your life? And um, we're also going to go deep into it with the tarot, but I'm going to also ask Spirit Guide to show me what actions you can take so that you can get to the best possible outcome, whatever's going on in your world. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm coughing, it is extremely cold in South Africa at the moment. So we literally just had snow yesterday for the first time in like 30 years or something like that so that's pretty amazing um otherwise i'm very cold my chest gone funny so bear with me i'm going to call in your spiritual team to please come in and guide me in these readings showing me what i need to see And speaking to me what I need to hear. Now let's begin. Let's begin. Let's get your current energy out. And please remember, Taurus, your next reading will be a three deacon reading, meaning that I <clears throat> am going to tell you what deacon you are. So if you don't know what a deacon is, a deacon is um, a certain type of um, Taurus energy. There are three different types of Tauruses. There's not only one. And I'm going to tell you which one you are by your date of birth and give you more information about what that's all about, who you are or your personality. Because different Tauruses, they don't have the same personality. And then I'm going to do a reading for each one of those deacons. So do remember to subscribe if you want to find out what that is. Turn on that notification bell if you haven't done so already so you don't miss the reading. And then you can find out what deacon you are. Okay, and then I'll do a reading especially for your deacon. We will have three different readings, so that'll be so intense. Usually it's about an hour and a half um, video, so that's why I'm taking time to do them. So yes, we have got the Swan Queen. <clears throat> I love it so much. Transformation, intuition, and patience. I feel like saying be patient during this time of transformation. Trust your intuition, trust your heart, trust your soul that everything is going to be unfolding for you the way that you want it to have to be. Definitely, <clears throat> we're in the middle of some kind of change, um, some kind of shift that is taking place in your life. You may not be sure, you might be a little bit unsure at this moment. Transformation is never easy. It can be difficult energy. So I always kind of feel like whenever we're in the middle of a big change in our life, it's scary. It can be scary. So you may be feeling like, I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope life is taking me in the right direction. So let's look at your past energy healing. So some kind of ending has taken place here, Taurus, and with the healing energy. <clears throat> now it's time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. You have the ability to heal yourself as well, okay, and others around you. So for some of you guys, you've been through some kind of major breakup. I'm just hearing your spirit guide, not all of you, but for some of you guys, um, there's children involved in this. And the separation or breakup or what has been going on in the house with regards to you living with somebody and children living there too um, was a bit tough and there could have been a bit, a bit of a negative situation that you and your children have gone through and witnessed. Your children have witnessed something um, inside your home. And I kind of feel like um, work, think of them as well if there is children. Um, take them for counseling or pull them closer to you at this time and let your energy and their energy, let both of your energies heal each other as you move forward because they have the ability to also heal as well. So I feel like something definitely happened here. Um, um, you might be feeling like, you know, I'm looking at the Swan Queen and I'm thinking of the little ugly duckling, you know what I mean? I'm thinking to myself, like, it's almost like you went through something. And I've, I kind of feel for some of you, okay, I kind of feel some of you, there's something ended here, all right? And then you have to go through healing and then you're going to become the Swan Queen. But I feel like for some of you, you hear, you're not yet, you left this, you move into this and you're in this dark area. It's almost as if you not yet 
moved into the swine queen energy you're still getting there you're still getting yourself there you will you're gonna bloom you're going to um <clears throat> glow you're gonna change you're gonna show your true self to the world okay and it's going to be magnificent because you are the swan queen i mean look at swan how absolutely beautiful they are this transformation this change it looks a bit messy in the middle here but where it's glow going, when the water settles, you know, when the dust settles, it's going to be beautiful. Your life is going to be beautiful still. Um, maybe even you, maybe physically, um, changing how you look, changing how you feel, which changes how you look, by the way. And I really feel as if you're going to see a different face when you look in the mirror, you know. So let's have a look and see future energy with the magician. I'm telling you, Taurus, hello, hello. Look at you just becoming the magician here after coming out, out of something quite hard. So you got Archangel Raziel coming in here. <clears throat> mm, you are ready. You're ready for this. You're ready. It's time. Oh man, you're reading. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Yes, it is. You know, um, you're so ready for this happiness. You're so ready to let go. You're so ready for this new beginning. And you deserve this. Because I feel here, whatever it is that needed you to heal, this was tough. Maybe not only on you, but those around you as well. And <clears throat> I see you going through this entire metamorphosis kind of energy. I'm going through this time where you literally moving into a beautiful empowerment vibe coming in here for you. So I'm very happy of so far of what I've seen. Let's get some more information out, Spirit Guide, so we can help our beautiful Tauruses out there with regards to this, this situation that they're finding themselves in. I feel like you're here. I keep feeling like you're here. You're not yet there. For some of you, you might be in the Swan King Queen energy, male or female energy. Anything that's got to do with the Queen in the Tarot or in Oracle Cards, it's got to do with emotion. So it's got to do with how you feel in your life. If you're looking at the Swan King, for instance, if it said Swan King, it would mean the accomplishments that you have achieved, the goal that you have reached, what you have done in your life, you see. So I feel like the Swan Queen has got to do with a lot about how you feel about yourself, your life, and where you're going. So let's have a look at the past here. Five of Cups, a problem that could not be solved. The start card, I felt like you had to give up on a dream. I did see it come up in the reverse position. I feel like you had to give up on a dream that you had, that you thought you got Aquarius coming into your reading. It was too painful um, to continue. And I think somewhere along the line with the Five of Cups coming in here, you had to like realize the dream that I had, what I was hoping how it would be, it's not going to become, it's not going to be this way. You kind of like went, yeah, no, this is a problem. This is a pain that's not going to go away. And I cannot stay here in this terrible pain because I'm trying to hold on to a dream that I've got. Remember, it, if you're going to be in a relationship or a situation that you're in, it's many people or two people involved in creating that. And if it's only you trying to create that and the other person's trying to create a nightmare, yeah, then you've got a problem. <laughs> it's like you're not going to have a, you're going to have a, <clears throat> a weird out-of-body experience and it's not going to be good. So let's see what else is coming in here for you. You've got justice rocking up in your world. Balance is been putting right. And another five of, we've got a five again. We've got a five of wands and a five of cups. So we need to take notice of these fives, okay? Um, justice coming in here, yeah, that was definitely an ending of a karmic situation. All the batches of readings that I did today are tied to some kind of shifts and transformations and endings. I, I feel like in the next couple of weeks or so, we're going to be going through a lot of shifts and changes. We've got all these planets in retrograde at the moment, seven if I'm not mistaken. How wonderful. <laughs> you know what I mean? We are going to be going through a little bit of an energetic shifts um, in our physical world and also in our emotional world as well and in our energy bodies, meaning that there are changes coming, okay? And it might, it's almost like <clears throat> a rough water that I'm picking up on a little bit during the time that we're going into a little bit of rough water. Do not panic. It will pass. Judgment is here with the justice card and judgment, but it's a justice card, but I always feel like it's got judgment attached to it. Justice and judgment, very similar energies. Both of them are talking about endings of negative karmic cycles. Endings are situations that were definitely not good for you, and you are moving forward now. 
I do see you still having some issues right now, um, some problems where you're trying to solve something. You could also be stuck in your head here with the Five of Wands. You could also be going, I cannot like, let this go. I'm finding it very hard to let this go. I'm constantly thinking about it. I'm also thinking about maybe what is still coming. I'm trying to solve some kind of problem here. So let's have a look. But you've got the magician in your future. So no matter what happens here, yeah, it's good. It's good. You've got to control the power of the mind, like literally. Um, look at this. You have to control the power of your mind. So I kind of see you with a page of wands overcoming the three of swords energy because the power of the mind anything that's got to do with wands energy so we're looking at wands a new beginning is coming in here i feel like as you're moving forward here you're going to have to focus on healing even more and um, you got the three of swords coming in here got your healing energy so there was definitely some kind of ending a breakup that has taken place you're still moving forward i'm just going to tell you what i do see here it says you are ready to let something go. So I feel like this new feeling where you got this wand's energy, inspirational, motivational, inspired, excited, um, just the get up and go feeling like I'm so excited about my life. Don't let this pain from the past block this dream, block the new you from trying to move forward. Because if you try to move forward in this energy, you hit that through that, that broken heart again. Um, it will prevent that energy from moving forward. You are so close to being able to manifest a new future for yourself. So very close to able to manifest whatever it is you want, literally. When anything you want, you can do it right now. Because why? You are moving into a time where all things are possible. Because you're moving into unknown energy. The best time ever is when you move into the unknown. Because that is when you have the power. That's when you need to rein in the mind real tight because that's the moment that you can start to build a new future. If you keep on wandering back into your past here with the Five of Cups, which caused the Three of Swords caused the Five of Cups and you keep it going on in your mind here. And as you're moving forward into your future, you wake up for a brand new day and you're like, hey, let me get my life started. Let's get things going. But you allow your heartache to come with you. You will block manifestation. You will block the life that you want to have. It's not worth it. Um, <clears throat> I remember this analogy of, I think I heard it some, I think it was on Gaia TV because I have Gaia TV. I think somebody was saying like, if you want to ra rise up higher in life, you got to, like a balloon, you know, the hot air balloon. With the hot air balloon wants to rise up in up higher in the atmosphere, they got to cut off the sandbags, you know, so that the dead weight, what is holding that hot air balloon is those sandbags. It's heavy. You've got to cut it off. You've got to let it go so that you can rise up. And I feel like it's again, again, and again, and again, rocking up in your reading, letting you know. So I want to see now, Spirit Guide, what is the actions that my Taurus must take to get themselves into this amazing outcome of the of this magician with Archangel Raziel's energy. They are ready for this change. They are ready to create the life that they want to be living in. What can they do? What do they need to be focusing on at this time? What advice do you have? Spirit guides for my Taurus. Let's have a look and see. High Priestess. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> High Priestess. Page of Cups, <clears throat> King of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Strength card, my Stalker card for the day, and the Knight of Wands. Beautiful advice. So <coughs> look at everything from a spiritual point of view. Okay, look at everything from a bigger point of view. There's a lot going on in this world that we do not understand. We live here on this planet with our name and our, our ID numbers and, and our life and our careers and whatever we are doing. There's much more going on than that. There's a deeper energy than that. What we see is only the tip of the iceberg. And you're going to look at a lot of things that have happened in your past, a lot of the pain that you needed to heal from and are still healing from. Um, as something else, something bigger. You gotta look at things from a spiritual point of view. It's the only way. I mean, if you're gonna um, <clears throat> look at things from a point of view of this life is just terrible, people are just terrible, um, you are really gonna break yourself. You're gonna break yourself. And that's not gonna empower you to become the magician. 
the only way to empower yourself you've got to you got to speak differently to your mind literally so you've got to say well you know it was karma i've let it go now let me let this let it go um there are certain things that are here to actually make me stronger there are certain things that i maybe needed to experience in my life that i may not understand in this human body but i will understand one day and i let it go with peace you know it's the only way and um, that's going to help you to move forward here so i see you kind of like um trusting yourself again trust your heart trust yourself trust this new beginning um where you are going and where you are being pushed with the page of wands here it is going to take you to page of cups energy so for some of you guys yes <coughs> you might be finding love um, you may be having a new person coming into your life um, that offers you this love. Somebody new, it's not somebody you know. Not I don't ever feel like a page of cups is ever somebody you know. I always feel like it's somebody new. Um, I also feel like it's also you, like leveling up as well, leveling up your life. Look how this person's sitting. There's his legs, but his legs are up there. It's like he's rising up, you know, and now you only see his feet. It's almost like you, if you follow the things that will make you happy, you know, follow your heart. If this really hurts you don't do it if something says something to you that you don't like uh stay away from them if something that you are doing is making you unhappy don't do it anymore you know what i mean and really follow your heart you know it's not easy to follow your heart because let me tell you something it's a hard journey but it's, it's so rewarding though so i kind of see <clears throat> this energy i do see it underneath current energy right now i just see you on the brink of a new start they are saying drained energy. You may feel drained. Um, we're the king of wands being in the reverse position. So they're going, yes, it's almost like you don't have the energy to start again. Or you don't have the motivation to really like start your life all over again. Or have a new beginning. But they, you are going to do it anyway. Um, drained or tired or not tired or whatever. Because what I do see is events are taking place with the Ace of Swords being there. That's going to get the ball rolling for you. So it's almost like not what you're really, nothing you can do is actually going to stop this change. Even if you feel like, wow, I don't even know where to start. Oh, life is going to show you where to start with the Ace of Swords being next to this King of Wands in the reverse position. So you're going to get your kind of like your mojo back here. Um, you are going to go through this. You are going to move through a little bit of a difficult time. Um, literally moving you. You're going to become a very strong person. In fact, you don't have to become a very strong person. You're already a very strong person. You're just tired, okay, which is okay. Even the strongest people get tired. Do not beat yourself up over it. Do not be hard on yourself. Be gentle on your soul. Like she's been so gentle. I mean, this is a Leo energy coming out with the strength card. But you look at this lion person, okay? Literally with a little lamb. They're being so gentle on the little lamb. And I feel like the little lamb for me in this reading is your inner self it's your inner soul energy you've been through a lot you've carried a lot of things with you don't beat yourself up if you do feel tired don't beat yourself up if you feel unmotivated if you don't want to get out of bed if you just don't feel like how am i going to create this magician life how am i going to get myself there the way you're going to get yourself there is to heal it is to heal your energy and healing looks like you don't want to get out of bed okay Healing looks like you don't have motivation for anything. Healing looks like you're tired. Healing looks like you, you're you not the same person you used to be. You just, you know, you're not the same. The energy is something's wrong with my energy. Why do I, why, where, why, where, what, you know, what's going on with me? That is you healing. And that's what it looks like. And that is okay. And accept that immediately and be like, oh, wow. So I feel like this because I'm actually healing. My soul is healing. My body is healing. We carry trauma of past situations in the muscles of our body. They are stored in your flesh and bone. Trauma stores in your, in your body, the physical body. So that's why your physical body may be tired, may be getting sick a lot, may be um, experiencing headaches or sore backs or, or funny little things, dizzy spells. Um, it is releasing and letting go of a lot of different things. But always remember, 
if you ever feel sick and something does not want to go away, always get medical help. I have to say that because, you know, we cannot say, no, it's, it's, it's trauma that you're healing from. You never know if it is something else. And that in itself is also trauma. So you see, you can even get ill because of the stress that you've been carrying. It can manifest itself to you in illness and low immune. So you've got to go get help for that. But rest while you can. Let me tell you something. You are coming out of this time. You're healing from something here. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty hectic. Um, I see you becoming a very strong person here. Very strong person. There is a new beginning coming in for you. What you need to know, the energy where you are going is magician energy. You're going to recreate your life. You're going to recreate yourself as well. And that person that you're going to recreate, make it fun. Make it exciting. Do whatever the heck you want to do, okay? Um, if you are, and just don't, whatever comes to your mind, this is the thing with the heart energy down here. As you move into this new way of being, I love that there's a high priestess here and a magician there, very empowering spiritual and manifestation energy coming in here. As you're moving into your future, into this unknown new person that you're going to become, Make it fun. Make it fun. You know, live this life as an adventure in every silly way you want to do it. So if you want to dye your hair purple, dye your hair purple. If you want to go um, and ride on, uh, go to Disneyland and ride on all the roller coasters, go to Disneyland and ride on all the roller coasters. doesn't matter what age you are or anything. If you want to... Um, take up salsa dancing at the age of 52, then go take up salsa dancing at the age of 52, 60, 18, whatever. Do whatever that little heart of, your is, heart of yours is telling you to do. If you feel like sitting outside all night, watching the stars until the following morning, wrapped up in a blanket, do it. Do it. If you want to get a tattoo, get a tattoo, okay? Have some fun here. And in that creating in that doing if something is saying you know what go read a book go get a book and read a book and um, go watch a movie uh um go take art lessons just follow your heart it's going to help you to recreate your life as you're moving forward here what i will tell you you're being very selective yeah about who you're letting in with the nine of wands coming in yeah i feel like a lot of people are going to maybe try to come back into your life i see you blocking them out congratulations that's empowerment when you say no to the people who did this to you, someone's coming back here. Oh yeah. You don't put up a wall for nothing. You put up a wall to block yourself out. In my country, every single house in, in our country has got big, huge walls around it. Why do we have huge walls around it? Because we don't want strangers walking around a house in the middle of the night. Um, so we have these huge high walls. Like you can't see into my property. You'll never see my front door, ever. You won't even see close to it. So literally, why do we put up walls? To keep away the people that can hurt us the most. So you see, I see you putting up those walls. Congratulations congratulations the people who get in here with you are gonna be have to earn that they're gonna have to earn to stand next to you here and that's when you're gonna get the quality humans that you want to have that's when you're gonna get the people that are good like you and maybe also they have their walls up too so you can form your own encampment you know what I mean and have your own compound where there's good people inside so I kind of see you yes really really um shutting your energy off but not being closed because she's holding this fire here so yes you shut this energy off you're very like careful when people come in you kind of like but at the same time i really see you also open to meeting new people open to uh, connections with people as long as they come in here not bearing arms <laughs> not making you see that you're going to have your heart broken because i think you're going to be so strong that you'll literally be able to push anybody out that you can pick up on immediately that they may hurt you. This is an empowerment reading, Taurus, like I've never read before. If you're not yet there, it's because you're here. You're in the in-between. Very uncomfortable place to be. You're going to start to see this unfolding of yourself here. You're going to start to see yourself really gaining confidence where you may not have in this card here. And totally moving into this unbelievable empowerment of the magician. There we go. Thank you so much, Taurus, for being here one more time. And um, if you do want to catch that 3D can reading, 
don't forget to subscribe so that you can and turn on the notification bell because YouTube will not notify you when one of my videos is out um, so that you don't miss uh, the Deacon reading that I'm doing for you guys. I'm literally recording them now and then I'll be publishing them for you one at a time and then I literally you'll be able to tell what kind of Taurus you are. There we go. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending my love and my light to you guys. Bye.